What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 88 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. Before we begin, we are giving away two of Logitech's new keyboards. We have the G413 in carbon and in silver here. So if you want to win one, all you have to do is hit that thumbs up button down below and comment down below as well on what your favorite setup is from this episode. As always, we have some great setups to show off for you guys, to hopefully give you some ideas and inspirations for your setup. And if you see anything you like in this video, I'll have that all listed in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 88. First up, we have Daniel here with a nice triple monitor gaming setup in his room, but displays aren't laid out as you might think. We have an overhead here with a vertical monitor on the left side. So taking a closer look, these are three LG monitors. His main display is an LG 34UM88, so a 34 inch ultra wide with a 29 inch ultra wide on the top there. And for the left side in the vertical orientation, that is a 23 inch monitor from LG. Definitely a pretty unique setup here, but I like how the cable management is locked down. There's not a lot of cables hanging down in the back, so that's great. And the RGB light strip behind the desk really helps accentuate everything. He's just got pixel for days going on here. And hold up, you got a mini Red Bull fridge? I need that in my life. Seriously, give it to me. And taking a look into his peripherals, he got the Poker 3 RGB keyboard paired with the Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse. And for his audio setup, he's got the Logitech Z623 speakers around his desk. And I can appreciate the desk grommet here, again, keeping the cable clutter down. Now into his really nicely built PC, this is the Fantex Enthu Evolve case with a nice kind of black and purple or pinkish theme going on. Definitely a big fan of that color scheme. He has the i7-6700K CPU with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO, 32 gigs of Trident Z RGB RAM, again to help match with that pink theme, an Asus Maximus 9 code motherboard, and a GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card, plus the NZXT Hue Plus PC lighting strip inside for some extra RGB. Just a very, very clean build here. This looks absolutely great, and I love it at night with that pink kind of glowing theme going on. So, all right, Daniel, definitely killing it here with this triple monitor setup in your bedroom. It's really great. Got the whole IKEA desk going on with the Alex drawers and the Carl B. Wooden top, but just a really awesome setup starting the episode off strong. Following up with Raiga, we have another triple monitor set up here. This one you're probably more familiar with, but again, a really nice example of using a color theme to his advantage. Black and white seems to be the color of choice, or lack thereof. And going the extra mile to match his wallpaper, he has these polygon shapes on his wall in black and white as well. Got some nice, uh, what is it, hexagons up there or something like that. But again, it all matches, which really ties it together nicely. As for those three displays, they are Dell Ultra Sharp 24 inch monitors mounted on a single triple monitor bracket. If you can't mount them to the wall, then a single bracket choice like he has here is the way to go. As for the peripherals, he's rocking the Corsair K70 RGB Lux keyboard with cherry brown switches inside, and his mouse is the Logitech G403 Prodigy wireless mouse on a nice Corsair extended mouse pad. And then for audio, a pair of the Audio Technica M40Xs with a blue snowball mic, a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, and a JBL 308 studio monitors. Plus an HTC Vive just chilling there. Then we move over to the PC, and I love his case here. It's the Corsair 400C, and inside he has the Intel i5 6600K CPU with the Corsair H100i AIO, an EVGA GTX 1070 Superclock graphics card with 16 gigs of Crucial Ballistics RAM and a 500 gigabyte SanDisk SSD. So a nice black and white setup that can then at night take advantage of the RGB lights by matching into whatever colors he wants. And here a nice red and blue theme going on for kind of like a nice Star Wars look. And you can see the RGB TIE Fighter 3D lamp there in the back and the wallpaper. All together some really great stuff. Love the way he has it set up and it's not overdoing it in terms of the lights. Now I love this setup. I, I love it like a, a nice Kit Kat bar, you know what I'm saying? Something about it is just really encapturing here, whether it's the Nano Leaf RGB lights on top above his setup, or it's the RGB lights inside his PC or his keyboard. Something about it is just really, really unique. So let's talk about what he's got going on. He has an Asus PG34 8Q monitor for his main display, and that secondary one off to the side is pretty much the same thing, but the 27 inch model from Asus as well. And again, very cleanly mounted on a monitor arm here. I gotta find out what camera he's using, because everything here just pops. Now we gotta take a look at his peripherals, and I respect the choices here. 
Got the Logitech G502, obviously a solid mouse. But check out this keyboard. This is the Gons GK87 Pro keyboard. Actually, not too expensive, and it looks baller. I don't use that word too often. It's got a light strip built in around the case so it glows and just looks really, really great. And he's got a bang and wallpaper on his phone. And of course the PC is lit. We have the Fantex M2 Evolve ATX case again here, but this one has the tempered glass, so it just accentuates the looks 10 times more. He has the i7-6800K CPU inside with the Corsair H159 CPU cooler on an MSI Pro Carbon Gaming X99 motherboard, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a gigabytes 1080 Ti Aurora's GPU. This is some top of the line stuff here, got an SSD as well, and of course a little protective Gundam figure inside his PC. So dude, I expect my invitation in the mail whenever to uh, come over and hang out and just take over your setup. It definitely looks great with the Hyper Beast wallpaper from NZXT matching on your monitor to your phone. That looks really cool as well, but just the use of RGB here, again tasteful, around the desk, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, those Nano Leaf um, Aurora panels up top are kind of expensive, but it definitely fits the whole look and the whole theme of your setup. So everything here just looks sick, 11 out of 10. Now we got Casper. I didn't mean to pick all these triple monitor setups, but we have another triple monitor setup here. And I'm getting an RGB theme here, just from all the colors I'm seeing. To keep all the monitors aligned nicely, they're the same. It is the ASUS VS247HR. So I'd imagine having them all lined up like that would be really great for gaming. When talking peripherals, Casper's got the Logitech G710 Plus keyboard there. Got a ton of phones there in the back, not too sure what's going on there. Also, the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse with the Razer Firefly mouse pad and the Logitech G230 headset not pictured, as well as the Blue Yeti mouse. Over to the PC, he has the NZXT H440 case. I don't see a side panel there, so I'm hoping that's just for photo purposes. But inside is an i7-5820K CPU on an Asus X99 Pro motherboard, 32 gigs of Ballistic Sport RAM, and a GTX 960 graphics card with the NZXT Hue Plus lighting strip inside, obviously for that glow. And then nicely across from his setup, he has his little like entertainment center there for PS4, Xbox One, all that console gaming, kick back, watch TV, play some games. Nice little setup there as well. Alrighty, Casper here with the practical RGB setup. My only question is, where's your PC side panel and what's up with all those phones? And then last but certainly not least, we got Kobe here. Again, putting nice use to that IKEA setup with the IKEA Alex drawers and the IKEA Lemon desktop. It's just a simple bedroom gaming setup that I can definitely respect. And then kind of like we saw in last week's episode, we have someone here who has the uh, collectibles going on with all the figurines in the case right by their side, which is going to make this entire gaming room and the setup as a whole much more personable to them. You gotta love stuff like that. Checking out his gear, he has the Acer Predator X34 ultra wide monitor, which is going to be a beast for gaming, so a solid display. And for audio, you can kind of see off to the left side, he has his Audio Technica M50X headphones there. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure what kind of mask that's standing on. It's like a headphone stand, but it definitely looks pretty badass. I'm sure people are yelling at me right now because I don't know what it is, but it's still pretty cool. Then into the rest of his gear, he has the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with some silent switches inside, and the Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse. So I think we had on like three times already this episode but a great mouse at that into his gaming pc he has the nzxt h440 case with a razor edition so in black and green and inside is an i5 6600 cpu on an asus z170 motherboard eight gigs of corsair vengeance ram and an asus gtx 1070 rog graphics card but the build definitely nails that fluorescent neon glow-in-the-dark type look then locking everything down underneath his desk so none of his cables are hanging down, we got the IKEA Signum, always a clutch choice. Alright Kobe, I'm definitely a big fan of the gear you have here. Everything you use to complete your setup is a great, great choice overall. And I think you pulled off that pink and green color theme very well for your bedroom gaming setup. Alright guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 88 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget, check that description down below for all the products and gear you saw. I'll have it listed down there for you. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you want to be entered to win one of the two Logitech G413 keyboards we're giving away, and a nice carbon and a silver finish. Definitely don't miss out on that. Just tell me what your favorite setup was down below. If you like this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.